hi welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is melina and let's talk september hopefuls i don't know why it was so difficult for me to choose some books for my september tbr i feel like it was because i was in between seasons so i wasn't sure whether to finish some of my summer books or just jump into fall i feel like as you see what i decide to choose it's kind of a mix of transitioning into fall i am a mood reader and i also read books all year round dependent it doesn't really matter the season but i really do like the idea of like getting into the fall vibes or getting into the vibe of the new season by reading books about the season itself so this year i decided to try to stick to seasonal books for each season so let me show you what i'm planning to read this month i firstly want to go over the books that i finished between the time i finished my august wrap up and my september tbr i'm going to put them right here I'm not going to talk about them right now, but I will review them in my September wrap-ups. So those books are not on my TBR and that's the reason why I did finish them sometime between the end of August and the first few days of September. There were a few books that I didn't finish last month. One of the big ones is Finale. I wanted to read this last month and I didn't get to it, but I have already started it. So this is something I'm currently reading. Another book that I want to get to that I didn't get to last month was Four Weekends and a Funeral. I haven't gotten to it. I'm planning on starting it sometime this week. So I will get to it probably by the end of September. The final book from last month that I didn't get to that I'm planning to re-add into my TBR is The Breakup Pact. And Hopefully I get to it this month. Now some new books that I added onto this month's TBR is The Next Heartstopper. This is the fourth one. I really love the, th the first three. They are really quick. They're really fun. They're really easy to get into. I just have never had the time to continue. There's other things that I wanted to read, but I think this is the perfect time to have a nice light fast-paced story. The next book that I want to read is As Good As Dead. This is the final book in the Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy. I read the first two and I'm currently watching the show and love it. It's on Netflix and I want to just finish the trilogy. I want to know how it ends. It's really fun to see the show and I actually feel like there's little tidbits already from the second book and people say that there are little easter eggs also like hinting towards plots in the third book which obviously I haven't read so this is something I want to get into this month. A book that I want to get into I'm not sure if it's necessarily a summer read or not. It gives me summer vibes but I'm hoping it's not because I don't know. I just I want to I'm trying to lean towards more fall vibes already. It is Nora Goes Off script. I've heard nothing but good things from all of the books at um, Annabelle Monaghan and so I want to read this one. A book that recently released that I really want to read is Daydream. I got the beautiful sprayed edge edition from Waterstone so I just received this book in the mail today so I'm so excited to add this to my TBR and since I really loved Wildfire I hope that this kind of fits the vibe of fall vibes mainly because it takes place during college so I'm really excited and look how beautiful this is. I can't get over it. Um, yeah. So I'm really excited. <laughs> the final book that I want to read before the end of the month is Too Busy for Love. It is an arc that I have that I just want to get into and hopefully I do read it in time. So here's the physical TBR for the month and over here I have my non-physical TBR. I'm hoping that I get to some of these. There's some books that I didn't read last month that was on my TBR that I think I'm just going to move towards October but I'm excited for these. So that's what I'm planning on reading in September. Let me know what you're reading. I'd really love to know. Um, until next time guys. Bye.